The recent MAMA Awards held in Singapore proved that Korean music is not only growing internationally, but the Korean music industry is very unified. Singer and actor Wang Lee Hong recognizes this and hopes the Mandopop pop industry does the same or will always play second fiddle to the K-pop craze. I also have greater goals as being part of the Chinese music community and, and um, helping it in some way, contributing to it in some way to, to bring it to the rest of the world. I think that this is something that we're seeing more and more of, but we really have to step our game up. I mean, when I see things like uh, the K-pop two days ago in Singapore, it's two days ago, right? Different record companies, artists from different record companies coming together, doing their awards in Singapore. I, I was like, you know, why don't Chinese artists do that? And why are they always pitting themselves against each other instead of working together and taking this their music around the world and that's that's something that I want to see happen because I grew up in New York and I grew up in the States I know how little the States back then at least knew about Asia and I, I, I hope you know, other than Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan that we can through our music uh, have some more meaningful cultural exchange. In a recent report in the Taiwanese media, Lee Hong was said to be one of the top earners in the Mandopop scene. This was his response to that report. And in response to a question about his relationship status, unsurprisingly, Lee Hong took a similar stance. Uh, <laughs> Although tight-lipped about his relationship status, Lee Hong still has to look his best, and the singer who is gearing up for his tour was looking much leaner than usual. Can you tell us like, like your, what have you been doing to keep fit and, and look good? Because you, you, look, you look leaner and meaner right now, so what have you been doing to keep healthy? I'm meaner. That's for sure. No. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of concerts, and concerts really kick my butt. Um, they're like, I feel like um, any, any uh, performer who's on Broadway, you know, who's doing shows every day. Um, I just finished my concerts in Taipei last weekend. But that, it's, it's been like six months of training in Kung Fu, training, um, dancing. I'm doing like 10 hour workouts a day, so um, I feel great because I'm, I'm so in shape, but it's also the whole team, all the dancers, all the martial artists that are involved in the Open Fire show that's coming to Singapore uh, in February. We're all working really hard and trying to keep ourselves at the top of our game. All that hard work allows the singer to indulge in some ice cream, especially when he's in Singapore. Let's see, we uh, had some amazing ice cream, <laughs> Island Creamery. If you haven't tried that, you gotta try that out. Oh, it'll kill you, man. <laughs> That's great. I wish they had Island Creamery in Taiwan. And, um, well, I, I did this exact same event last year, Music Changes Lives, and I, I, it's great to be able to have this type of relationship. Uh, to be able to come back, same venue, uh, same sponsor, but different kids, new batch of kids, and see what's, you know, see what. The, the new talent or what new ideas kids are coming up with so I hope we can keep doing this I think it's it's really nice to be able to do something at such a grassroots level coming up check out what Lee Home was talking about as we meet the four finalists of this year's Brands Music Changes Lives event <laughs>